What's up everybody, welcome to Ravenel Ford. Today we're gonna to be looking at the 2017 Mr. Passenger Wagon. That's what it said on the window sticker. Watch the video to see what we find out. So, anyways, let's take a look at it. It's the Ford Transit passenger vehicle to get people around town. And that's exactly what we're gonna be looking at today. So if you're in the market for one of these transit vehicles, well, we have a lot of them on ground. We surely do at Ravenel Ford. Uh, I'll be going over some of the specs, some of the features, we'll take a look at the outside, the inside, and most importantly, talk about the pricing structure at Ravenel Ford. So far, what do you think of the new transit Mr. Passenger Wagon? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Front end looks good, kind of has that European look to the front end, I like it. Chevrolet still kind of has that traditional Chevy Express van front end on it. These kind of have a smooth aerodynamic look to it, right? <laughs> Anyways, you know, what I said a minute ago is true, that's what it's got on the sticker here, let me show you. It says right there, 2017 350 Mr. Passenger Wagon Oxford White does have a 3.7 liter V6 under the hood to get the power out there, what you need to get done. Now it does look a little funny. It's such a big vehicle with these tiny little rims and tires. They're a 235 65 series tire with a 16 inch steel wheel, but I'm sure those 16 inch rims and those Continental tires will do just fine. Got a little running board right there for people to get in and out. Um, before we get into all that, we will take a look at the back. Let's see here, okay, pretty cool. Nice and tall, it's high up off the ground so you can actually kind of walk through there, I'm assuming. And we'll see how that works because I'm I'm six foot one and uh, I won't lie to you, I'm not six foot three, okay, I'd like to be, but I'm six foot one, or right at six foot, give or take an inch. We'll see how I can walk through on here in just a minute. So anyways, it doesn't say Mr. Passenger on the back, does it? That would be hilarious if Ford did that. All right, so the key does have these features, but let's go ahead and open her right on up. Doors open up just about this wide. I always show people on these transits how wide the doors open. So there you go. That's about right there. And then lots of seats in the back. I mean, definitely you're heading down to the plantations or, you know, we don't have any amusement parks in Charleston or even in South Carolina, really, other than Carowinds. But um, if you're going to the plantations or historic downtown, lots of room for you to sit and just enjoy a ride in the Ford Mr. Wagon. Pretty cool. Um, I'm sure you could probably take those out if you need room for cargo and things like that. But you know, if you're getting cruised around town looking at all the historic stuff, just throw your bags in your lap and get in and have a good time. Let's look at the cockpit for real quick because uh, if someone's watching this video, you may be the one buying one or you may be the one driving one, right? So uh, this is where you're gonna spend your time. Uh, that door opens up that wide, okay? So kind of got a weird angle to it, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, so uh, power windows, power door locks, cubby hole space, a speaker for your stereo system, a step to get in right there. Uh, vinyl seats all around, so that's easy to keep clean. You could literally take a water hose out and clean those vinyl floors off. Um, I like the cockpit. This is looking pretty futuristic here. Cruise control, audio controls, nice looking display screens there. Lots of buttons for headlights and all that good stuff in your mirrors. Another LCD up there, CD player. Uh, of course, it's got an auxiliary port, a 12-volt outlet, and um, another 12-volt big cup holders there for you. Pretty nice. Up top, uh, these massive uh, sun visors, controls for the rear air, lighting, no LED lighting, but that's okay. And then that controls all the lights in the back up on the rooftop there, which looks pretty cool. And then you got storage up here as well, and I'll show you that in a minute when I get in. So, and it's got a pretty decent passenger seat over there as well to sit down in and really just kind of enjoy sitting down inside of this van. Um, you will notice on the driver's side of the vehicle, the only door that's open is that one right there. If you want to put gas in the vehicle, I'm assuming it's right here. Yeah, right there. Easy fuel. Okay, so that's where you gas cap is at. Let's go around the other side and take a look at the uh, interior before we do the same as the driver's side on your door panel. Pretty big glove box holder. Might want to throw a 9mm in there if you need to protect your passengers in case of any crazy terrorist attack. Um, open this up. 
Man, I got a whole coke in it for a minute, right? But we got it open. Not too hard, really. When you got one hand on a camera rig and the other one's just freely moving around, take a little strength. This is nice to grab a hold on to for grandma or grandpa when they're getting in. And then look at all the seating in here. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah, it looks kind of like a maze to get back there. But we're gonna, Chad's gonna try to hop in and do it. All right, here we go. So step here, and then step here, and then step up. Okay, wow. So there's that stuff up top, that area to throw things in there, books and, and stuff like that. And uh, all right, I got one more step to go up. Here we go, and I'm going higher. All right, so, so I'm gonna switch the camera around. Oh, all right, so you can see, well, I'm again, I'm six foot one. My head, I can't stand fully, but this is perfect. I mean, if you got a person that's five eight, they're walking right through here like like they're on the way to a music concert, okay? Um, so, but a, a guy my height, you know, just lean down a little bit and kind of move around and get into the vehicle and check it out. So, just so you can see, you know, this I'm in the very far back right now. This is what view you get while you're sitting in the back. Which makes it kind of like, it makes it fun sitting back here right now. Like, man, I mean, I'd like to have, you know, my wife right here next to me, kind of hand on her lap, got the kids right up here, and, uh, and we're on the travel roads going. We're going to, you know, uh, Walt Disney World. We're going to Niagara Falls. We're going to the Blue Ridge Parkway. I mean, riding in the big van, right? That sounds kind of cool. Get out every couple hours, do a little, little pit stop at the rest area, and take a break, and, you know, buy some little trinklets here and there if you're going to the mountains grab you a sweatshirt i mean get on the road and have a good time traveling right that sounds fun doesn't it some of y'all get to do that when y'all retire right but wouldn't it be nice to be able to do that stuff when you're younger right instead of having to work all the time and and all that right yeah so we work all of our lives so we can finally get out there one day and travel and have a good time and then you have a heart attack oh my lord anyways <laughs> have a little fun but that's the transit buy one for your business if you got a traveling company buy one for your church okay you know again people want to get out there and have a good time in life if you're a part of a church you know take the folks out and really let them see what what the world and america is all about so have a great day thanks for watching the video we'll see you soon from ravenel ford and you know one thing we didn't go over and golly ray i gotta do it the pricing they don't have an orange sticker on this one but just so you know if the truck was retailed out at 36 355 they're going to give you a discount they're going to do 98 over invoice they're going to give you the rebate they're going to make it an easy price okay that's how ravenel ford does it they sell all vehicles 98 over invoice no dealer admin fees no dog fees so if you live in the carolinas and want to buy a transit vehicle for your company i suggest you making the trip out to ravenel ford thanks have a great day subscribe on youtube if you enjoyed watching watching that video about the, about the Ford 350 Mr. Passenger Wagon. We'll see you soon.